Today's video is about an extremely powerful new feature in Resolve 17, Magic Masks. I am having some pretty serious technical difficulties, so no face cam today, but uh, hopefully it'll be back by tomorrow. The footage that we're working with today is just a shot of one of my friends in South Dakota next to a little stream. And you can see a whole person here and a shirt and some pants, and that's gonna be important to what we're doing in this video. So we're gonna go ahead and jump on into the colors page. And I already have it open, but you'll probably open to right here, to the Curves page. And uh, Magic Masks are actually not with your other masks. They are not in the Power Windows section. They're in their own section, the Magic Mask section. So when you click on it, you'll have the selector selected. And you can either switch to the deselector right here, or you can just hold Alt while you're up here selected and stuff. So on the other side, opposite that, we have Person and we have Features. Person will mask a whole person, and Features just masks part of that person. But first, I'll show you what person does. We also have all these tracking controls, but we'll get into that in a second. So there's a person right here. We'll just go ahead and tell the magic mask that there's a person right there, and it will do its best to mask that person through the shot. So we'll track this forward, and it follows the person. So that mask is on him the whole time. So if we need to adjust, say, the contrast on that, we can get that mask, and then we can come in here and just boost that contrast up and it will only affect what's inside that mask. The features feature is pretty much the same idea except you get to choose a specific part. So here we have clothing top, we also have a bunch of other options. Really like if you were modeling like a 3D model and you were trying to give it joints and parts, you'd use similar things. We're going to choose clothing top and we're just going to tell it that hey, this is our clothing top, this is our shirt. Then it's going to mask that out and then we'll track that forward and it will track that shirt and it will move with the shirt as it goes through which reduces a lot of the time spent making manual masks so those are the absolute basics of the magic mask tool it's pretty quick um it's not ridiculously accurate yet it's still obviously a new part of the program and resolve 17 is still in beta so this might get even better before the official launch. But right now, I can see this being an incredibly useful tool for saving some time not having to manually mask out moving subjects. So I would love to know what your experience has been with this tool so far. If it's been good for you, bad for you, what you would like to see changed about it, just whatever. Let me know what you think of this tool in the comments down below. And while you're down there, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you in tomorrow's video, hopefully with all of my systems up and running.